couldn't be more happy. Corey Clement was soaking in all that Super Bowl opening night had to offer. Excitement, childhood dreams. But his path to the Super Bowl was not how he dreamt it. At this time last year, Clement was getting set for Pro Day and the NFL Draft. But after going undrafted, Clement was disappointed, but quickly regrouped. I got a chance to pick where I wanted to go, um, you know, pick my own destiny, see where I want to end up and uh, play for a great city where I grew up in. I was surprised and excited at the same time. Uh, surprised that a lot of teams just passed him up. Uh, but once again, that's his motivation. You know, now he feel like, you know, he has to make everybody pay who said, you know what, you, you're not good enough. And that's exactly what Clement did when he got the Philly. I just put my foot down and just really hustle, just really grind. And uh, whatever special team, offense, defense, whatever I can make it on, I want to be on somebody's roster. When you really look at his progression when he first came in in OTAs into where he's at now, um, he's embraced any role that you've given him, whether that's kickoff coverage, kickoff return, running back, third downs, whatever it might be. Um, he stepped in and stepped up in every situation. He had six tackles on special teams in the regular season and led the Eagles in rushing touchdowns with four. And while his journey to the NFL didn't turn out like he imagined, through hard work and determination, he turned it into a dream season. One that's not quite over yet. I still feel like I didn't even wake up yet. I feel like I'm going to wake up after this game is over, after, we, after I feel so accomplished to the point where I, I'm just drained and just lay down because I know I gave it my 100%. And uh, I, I know whatever the outcome may be, um, no, 100% was given out by Corey McClendon. For Wisconsin Athletics, I'm Brandon Spiegel.